Let me tell you in San Pedro, San Pedro Port Complex is the busiest in the country, and it accounts for 40 percent of U.S. imports. The supply chain issues and inflation are hurting our communities in Southern California that I represent. But as you said, it's a nationwide problem. The problem here is not going to go away. So I've been working since January to safely increase capacity at the port. And uh, there is a bipartisan bill I signed on to, the mm -hmm. Ocean Shipping Reform Act. That would update shipping laws to address supply chain disruptions in the United States involving ocean shipping arrangements. And these uh, in U.S. importers, exporters, they are paying the highest ocean shipping rate ever recorded. You talk about it's going from few thousands to 15,000. In my Southern California, many of the businesses just yesterday that I've been talking to, they're trying to get their goods out of these ports and they're paying $18,000 oh just God. to get their uh, you know, ship uh, goods unloaded. So. Seriously, we got a serious problem here. We need to do more. Well, we to do have a serious problem, uh, Congresswoman, but not everybody's yes. taking it seriously. We had Jen Psaki uh, talking about the uh, the supply chain problem uh, yesterday. Let me just play that sound bite and get your reaction. Roll tape. It was crystal clear that things were not improving on supply chain. People couldn't get dishwashers and and furniture and treadmills delivered on time, not to mention all sorts of other things. So why the is it... The tragedy of the, short, the treadmill that's delayed. Right. So there you have the White House spokesperson joking about it. The, the smirk and the comment that she made is... It's unbelievable. You know, the Biden administration announced to move the Port of LA and Long Beach to 27, 24-7 uh, operation, but that's not going to be enough to ease our supply chain bottlenecks. It might be too little, too late. This will not have an impact on the shipping crisis unless all of the parties and retailers involved in moving uh, products through those ports agree to implement yeah. this. That would take months. Both ports are what called the landlord ports where they have little control over port operations, most of the movement of goods goes through the retailers. But unfortunately, the announcement has buy-in from just a few retailers. Well,